Hi, welcome to the Numeracy 5 Video Answers for the 29th of March. If you need help on one particular question, feel free to pause the video now, go to corporatemavs.com and watch that video, and that might help you out in that one question. Otherwise, I'm going to go through all the answers now. So our first question. Our first question is on square roots. So this says the square root of 81. Well, because 9 times 9 is equal to 81, the square root of 81 is equal to 9, because we're looking for which number will multiply by itself to give 81 and that would be 9. And the square root of 1, well, 1 times 1 is 1, so that would be 1. Okay, our next question. Our next question is a time question. It says, Victor runs a half marathon. He started at 10 past 7 in the morning, and he ran for one, uh, 145 minutes. What time did he finish? So I'm going to change this minutes into hours. Okay, so 1 hour is 60 minutes, and 2 hours would be 120 minutes. So 145 minutes would be 2 hours, that's 120, and then another 25, so 25 minutes. So it took him two hours and 25 minutes to run the half marathon. Now he started at 10 past seven in the morning. So if we add the 25 minutes on, that would be 7.35, and then another two hours would be 9.35. So he finished at 9.35. Okay, our next question. Our next question is a bar chart question. So here we've got our grid and we've been asked to draw a bar chart for this information or this data. So we've got our data. We have got the days. We've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I'm going to write down Monday and I'll do a bar there. And then leave a gap, Tuesday, leave a gap, Wednesday, leave a gap, and Thursday. I'm going to draw bars there. And there are days of the week. So I'm going to put my scale here. I'm going to write day there just so I know that this day is going along horizontally and vertically it's the frequency so I'm going to write frequency there going up vertically and we'll start at zero and go zero one two three four five six seven eight so we've got our frequencies going up and we've been asked to draw a bar chart so get a ruler and get a pencil make sure whenever you draw on these all your bars are the same width apart so so that's our first bar. Our first bar is from Monday, and it's got a height or a frequency of 6. So we're going to go from 6 across to there, and then down, and that's the bar from Monday. The bar for Tuesday, it's going to be 4, so we're going to go up to 4, across, and down. Wednesday has got a frequency of 2, so we're going to go up to 2, across, and down. And finally, Thursday is 5, so we're going to go up to 5, across, and down. And that's it. Okay, and our last question. Our last question says, work out 10% of 800. So to get 10% of a number, you divide by 10. So we're going to do 800 divided by 10, and that would be equal to 80. Okay, and our last question says, work out 25% of 28. So to get 25% of a number, we need to divide it by 4. So we can either divide 28 by 4 to get 7, or we can half and half it again. So half of it would be 14, and half of that would be 7. So we're just going to write 28 divided by 4 is equal to 7. And that's it.